Hello, I'm Mike and we're going to be doing a hot mix today. I've been on YouTube and seen quite a few where they range from the conservationists mixing up a small thimbleful of mix and making that last for a fortnight to the DIY guys that have explosions and are thinking, oh, what fun this is. But here we're going to be doing a mix that most builders can use because we can mix up a lot reasonably quickly and hopefully safely. So we're mixing um, quick lime. This is a the large kibble and on this mix we're using four to one sand. Right. So I've put three of the sand into a dustbin and we'll be using two mixes, so two dustbins, so like a twin tub method. And what we want to do is get the lime down into the bottom of there. So we then make a hole in the middle. Now this is very similar to the ring of sand method or the volcano method. But when you're mixing that on a board, um, you've got to work frantically to try and cover it over before it erupts and you get clouds of steam. So this way we're trying to do it so that it can go on mixing on its own without us having to work too hard and we can get a second mix on in the same time. Hopefully there's enough moisture in the sand for it to stay there. All right. so. One measure of quick line into the middle. We don't want to breathe this dust because this is quite harmful. So stay downwind of that. We're using um, a 12 litre bucket size to make because we don't want too much in there because if it erupts and overflows, we've got a problem. So that's the 12 litre bucket size in a 90 litre dustbin. Once we put that all in there, it over with our last bucket of sand and make a hole in the middle where we can see the quick line. At this point make sure we've got everything ready. So we've got eye washes if anything goes wrong and uh, we've got a lid. Very important that the lid is to hand. And now the temperature in here is going to get very hot but we must have the right measure of water. This is one and a half measures of the water. It can, depending on the moisture of the sand, it can be a little bit less, uh, never less than one measure, and uh, well, never more than two measures because it uh, just chills the lime and you never get the temperature for it to work. So we pour this in there as quickly as possible in all in one go, and then put the lid on. And because it's the kibble, that all sits down in through the middle. Then we grab the lid. And there are, it's starting to bubble already. That works its way down in. See, we don't want to be stood too near that. And that will carry on cooking. So we've got the lid on it to hold it down. I was expecting that to be a little bit more violent than that one. Whilst that's cooking, this is why we have the twin tub, we'll do a second mix. Same again. So we put our three sand in. Now the reason we're using um, a ratio of four to one and not a three to one is because our sand is a or part of the sand is a limestone. We've got two types of sand a home sand which is um, quite smooth but it's still sharp and a limestone sand which is four mil down all right so it's lumpier coarser but it's a breathable permeable aggregate 
and we can get it from the local builders merchants pre-mixed if we were only using a silica sand then we'd stick to a three to one um, the pore size is all important but because we've got a permeable um, aggregate then we're going at four to one because we don't want it too sticky for what we're doing so again we make our hole in the middle you might be able to hear that one slowly bubbling away but I just think it would be a bit more violent and we found with this one we're using a smaller kibble now we need to make sure that the water gets all the way down into the bottom all right it's so a slight refinement or improvement we put a little bit of pipe in there and cap it off Again, don't breathe the dust. You might want a dust mask if you want. And so four of sand and um, stone dust, one and a half of water. And this way we get the water right down into the middle. And we wiggle that, make sure that water's getting down into the bottom. See, all of that water's gone down in there very nicely. So this is actually going to be a better mix. If you can see that moving, it's trying to swell as it comes up. There we are, we've got the heat coming up. Starting to steam. Pat it down. We want to keep as much steam in there as possible. That's the whole point of putting the lid on. So that we keep the spirit of the mortar inside there to make sure it all cooks through. We want that temperature to be, it must get over 100 degrees, uh, probably getting up to near 150 there. If it goes over that, then it can burn the line and that's better because you can hear that one fizzing this one has been very slow to react which is a little bit annoying Now, if we have a look in here quickly. Okay. Now we could leave this for um, 20 minutes or so, um, but we want to mix it in whilst it's still hot. So we don't want to leave it any more than an hour. It needs to be still hot uh, when we whisk it in. We've actually got quite a large whisk, but a normal plasterer's whisk will do. And because we're starting on the top we just need a little splash of water only about a cup full just to make sure it's nice and wet on the top that's swelled up and there's a void in the middle which is very hot so we need to whisk it 
down slowly. If we plunge the whisk in to the middle, we'd release that straight up into our face, which isn't good. So. A little bit dry but we will leave it steaming because it'll finish slaking off then at high temperature before we add any more water because if we add it now it'll chill it and it'll go too cold to finish slaking So we'll put the lid back on that and we'll have a look at the other one. That could really do with being left a little bit longer but we will finish this one off as well again because it's quite dry on the top just a cup full of water
Mm. Here, that's still too dry to use. There's mortar. But uh, we'll give that another 20 minutes to finish slaking before we wet it up a little bit to use. There we are. That's still lovely and hot. It's leaking away to give us two hot mixes. Thank you.